Alright, so you guys have been waiting for this for a while. It is out my tour of my family's Isuzu MPS 300. So, to get this started, we'll start with front here. As you can see, we'll start with a few of the details. It's an Isuzu MPS 300, as you all know. It's a 2012 four cylinder. I think it's a 5.2 litre. Take my foot off. 5.2 litre. And then my MPS. I said that like four times now. At the front here we have, what was it? The Ultimate Bars Bull Bar for spotlights. The lights a bit better. So now, we'll talk about spotties. We've got King, Adventure King's spotlights. Adventure King's light bulb, and that's, I'll just quickly show you that one's there. They're pretty bloody bright. They're pretty bright. Empty out a little bit, we've got the Sherpa winch, 17,000 pound Sherpa winch. We still need to spool that on, but I'll give you a closer look. So I said the Adventure King lights Sherpa winch back in there. So I've got the side now, we've got a set of 37 inch mud terrain tyres. The steps have been painted because they're pretty rusty and worn out. The original fuel tank on the other side, as I'll show you in a bit. The original fuel tank, which on the other side I'll show you in the next clip. Not the next clip, but whenever we're over there. We have a second one of the smaller model of this truck. So the back part's a bit hard to record on a Tripod just raining outside and the door shut. So I'll just do it like this. So we've got two spares. They're both the old tires off the front. Two spares and a bit of tray space back here for your firewood and stuff. So we're around the other side now. We have a shovel now that we built. And as I was saying on the last clip, we've got the fuel tank. It's from the small model of this truck, the two wheel drive version. And it's on a little pump with a switch that's just here. A little fuel pump that pumps fuel from this. We have to get out to do it. But it pumps fuel from this tank to the other tank, which is just a lot faster and easier than doing a sub fuel system. And both these tanks together should give us about a thousand Ks. I'll talk about the canopy, the inside of the canopy in a bit, but we'll talk about the canopy in detail in a bit. Up there, as you can see, we've got the, the bar, that little bar of hooks on it. Because with these trucks, they're so tall, you can't get a normal awning. Because by the time the poles are fully extended and it gets down here, the full length of the awning will be like just to here. And you wouldn't have any space to stand under it. So, we made a bar, you hook your tarp on them hooks, and it pulls it out tight. And you just run it out like an awning, and it does the job. We've got our cheapy set of max tracks up there, you might be able to see in the blue max tracks. It does have rear aircon, and there's the winch isolator switch. So now, an exciting bit, come up inside and we'll have a look. Alright, so now we're up here in the cab, as you can see. We have the manual gearbox, because the automatic version of this truck, they're not. We have a little GME radio, UHF, here. And then we got this. So the Isuzu one was worn out and broken in this truck. So we put an eBay Android powered. So up here we have the reverse camera. So there's a camera on the back of the truck and there will be a camera on the back of the caravan. We have a Red Arc Tow Pro which you can see just here, the little dial. There's not enough room in the back to set up the tripod. So I feel this handheld. So the, there's the cab support, just so you can see, and we've used some metal fasten, fasteners to put up this wood wall, this wood panel with some marine carpet on it. We've got four USB chargers, they're our drink bottle holders, just bike drink bottle holders, just screwed on. As you can see, there's the engine, and it, there's not much to the back. We do have a rear aircon. 
there's not that much to the back seat. Doing this bit handheld again, so it's easier for you guys to see. So here's our second out of two second, first out of two second batteries. The second one's in the canopy. So we've got, don't know what the amp hour is. Dad would know, but that's our second battery, a voltmeter. We come right back under here. There's our BC DC charger. Where is it? There, BC DC charger. That's a 24 volt charger. For if the truck goes flat or something, you just plug it in the 240 volt, and that's done there. You got our little switch that turns on all the 12 volt accessories in the cab. Right, so here we have our canopy. Me and my dad built. Took us about two weekends, three weekends of like non-stop working and welding and stuff so just simply no awkward clip just bolts onto the tray because we never take it off just real quick though this tray we are going to be building another one because it's very heavy so now to the interesting part inside the canopy and it's locked let's take a look inside the canopy Turn on some lights, so you can see me and the inside a bit better. So, here's the inside of the canopy. So for starters we've got where we cook and all that, we hang our towels on here. This comes down. As you can see, I'm 164 centimetres or something. Yeah, it's a bit awkward trying to cook your lunch up here with your arms up all the way up here somewhere trying to cook. But we do have, obviously you got to have beer. So we've got, in here we've got camp oven, camp oven lifter, soap, what's that? Spray oil, mozzie spray, two billies, one for the stove and one to put in the fire. Some trays, chopping boards, you got to have the beer. And then you got dry food. I hope there's nothing in there. Snacks. We've got all our canned food goes in here. Come around this side. Wash up stuff. So it's got paper towel and all that sort of stuff in there. Up the top here. These ones aren't labelled yet. What's in here? So in this one, so you can see that, we've got a gas bottle and a cooker on top. And that one. This one's got nothing. And when you look in this one, it's just all our odd stuff. Another few more cans of mozzie spray, lighter, tire gauge, all that kind of stuff. Then obviously that says first aid, but there are fire lighters in there. I'll go into more detail on the fridge in a second. I'll bring you up close for that one. We do have water. I just sprayed that on the shed floor. Dad's going to be pissed. Anyway, that's all installed ourselves. There's two, two 100 litre water tanks in the behind here. We've got camping table filler points, breather slash overflow for the tanks, cooker, and that's where our barbecue goes. So as I said a second ago, I'll bring you into more detail on the fridge. It won't come out. My hands are too cold. Ah, there we go. So it's a homemade slider. Dad made this slider about 10 years ago before we even owned the truck. When we were living out of cars. Not living out of cars. I freaking hell. When we were camping out of cars. We made this slide, it's a bit corroded, it's had a lot of trips over the years, Cape York and all that, but it still holds up strong. So the fridge, it's a one litre dual zone, 45 litre I think, angle, ever cool, I said angle, <laughs> so it's an ever cool 60, they still make this model, this one's 
a good 15 years old. So it's a pretty old workhorse, that fridge. Alright, so back there, as you can see, is our third, second, is our second auxiliary battery for the canopy stuff. Back there, behind the fridge, out of the way. I've showed you this side. Let's go around the other side, on the storage side. It's where all the tools and stuff is kept. Around the side of all the storage. Oh, I just can't see now. Just look straight into that light. These lights are bright. Actually, I didn't talk about the lights. Lucky I just remembered. So these are just some cheapy eBay. I can't see. There's LED, there's dots from LEDs in my eyes. But here we are on the other side of the canopy. This is the storage side where you just store everything. Tools are kept, all the stuff that, well, that needs to be stored basically. And this side is locked. So we open this side up, put the lights on, not as many lights on this side because it's not normally over here when it's pitch black. So we've got three aluminium drawers, three aluminium drawers down here, we've got our temp poles down here for the awning on the other side. I'll come into more detail what's in these drawers, but basically this one is fishing gear and tanks and all that. I can bring you into more detail with that. That one's just empty, and this one's tools and stuff. We've got our air hose up here, which normally goes in here, or in this one. We've got a step ladder because these trucks are very tall as you can probably realise by my height next to this truck. I'm not small, the truck's big, right? Come over this side, we've got a 20 litre jerry can, so if you're next to a river or something, you can go fill this up and that will give you your hand washing water. If we get that out of the way, it's still got water in it, that's probably not good. We have our 24 volt air compressor back here. It's a really good little compressor. Bring you into more detail on that in a bit. Recovery bag. Just general stuff like winch remote and winch blankets and all that sort of stuff. So that's it. I'll just put bring you into more detail. So more detail of this compressor. It's a Renegade Tray Tools Industrial Compressor. You got your regulator, you got two outlets, it tells you your gauge and stuff, that's a little tank, so it can hold your air. Look back there, there's some motor. In this one we've got tools and stuff, as you can see through that gap. Fishing gear and stuff, which you can see in there. To end the video for you guys, to end the video that I've made for you guys, hope you enjoy it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. He's still jumping on me, because I'm ignoring him. While I try and make the end of this video. I'm just trying to make a video. So, got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll try my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I'll get my dad to answer them. So, hope you enjoy. See you in the next travelling video, which who knows when because of COVID. So, see you in the next video.